Hi everybody. Um, so yesterday was my graduation and my narcissist was in the same ceremony as me and I knew that was going to be the case and I've been really not looking forward to it for a very long time. So I was super anxious and I even had an extra friend come with me so I could try to feel a little bit better. Um, but this is what happened. Right before I left for the ceremony, I happened to check my email and of course, guess who emailed me? Haven't heard from her since December. Um, I'm just gonna read it. It says, hey, I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to check in about what you'd like me to do with the things of yours that are still at the apartment. I'm moving out at the end of the month, so I just want to get an idea of what you'll want to happen. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I have these boxes and like, I, I would be fine helping you move them or moving them to the condo other place that she has and then you can pick them up whatever's easiest for you I also want to let you know Grammy passed away a couple weeks ago that's her grandma who she was very attached to she fell when moving a carpet and then never got better I was down there for spring break and was able to take care of her before they moved her to hospice the service was beautiful I really hope you're doing well and you have been in my thoughts especially with the passing of Grammy have a good day okay so first of all, we've gone back to the, I'm just going to be the nicest person ever and help you move your stuff. It's also very strange because I thought that maybe all I had there were like a couple golf clubs that I forgot because the day that I told her I wasn't going to talk to her anymore, she supposedly put everything that was mine together and then I came to pick it up. So I don't know what this is that supposedly is still over there. Um, but she's making it sound like there's a lot of it. So that's really shady. Um, and then, of course, how do you bring up your dead grandma in this email that's completely irrelevant? And of course, on the day of graduation, right? She knew she was going to see me um, and then wanted to, you know, somehow wrote me back in with, you know, getting some empathy about this person who I had met too and who I knew was really important to her. Um, but like, if you really wanted to tell me about it, why wouldn't you have told me about it when it happened? Like spring break, for example, which is now... A while ago a lot of weeks ago um, so anyway that was all weird so I got sort of anxious went to the ceremony um, at the very end you know I made it through it was fine and then um, as I was marching out she was still in the rows waiting to march out she was one of the last rows that got to go um, and I just sort of casually waved at her um, because you know I was trying to treat her like basically a stranger like a distant acquaintance and I was really happy that I was able to do that. So I just kind of went, oh, hey, and like kept walking really fast. Then she walked out of her row the wrong direction. And before it was their turn, like bolted after me. I didn't see her coming. And then came up behind me and like turned me around and gave me a big hug. And was like, congratulations. And then she goes, I didn't know you would be here. Yes, you did. We, the whole plan was like, oh, we we're graduating at the same time. We were going to graduate in the spring, then we were going to get married in the fall. This has always been the plan. Um, so I thought that was a very strange thing to say, but I think it was supposed to be like, please don't make the connection that I emailed you this manipulative shit on the day that I also knew that I was going to see you and try to kind of rope you back in in some way. Um, so I was like, yep, uh, this was always the plan. And of course, immediately after that, she goes, did you get my email? And I was like, yeah, I just got it on the way here, so I haven't really had a chance to respond or anything. And then we kind of just, like, drifted in our opposite ways because um, a couple of our professors were waiting, and we um, separately went to talk to them. Oh, she also asked me if my parents were there, doing the, like, oh, I still love your parents kind of a thing. So, anyway, I'm not quite sure how to feel, and I'm not totally sure how I'm going to handle the going to get my stuff or seeing whether or not there is any stuff or maybe I'll just say fuck it because I'm actually moving out of state so maybe I completely don't even want to deal with that um, I haven't decided a little part of me kind of wants to see um, I don't know if I can like play little games with her too in a way like I was watching another um, YouTube video that said Sometimes it helps to kind of flip the script as much as you can and see if you can manipulate a little bit and it makes you feel um, a little more in control. I don't really know what that would look like, um, but I was really, really proud of myself yesterday that I completely held it together and was just kind of like, oh, yeah, hi, person. 
could be any person. Um, and of course, you know, I responded to your email um, asking or kind of suggesting some times that I could maybe come get my stuff. And of course, I haven't heard back because now we're going to do the silent treatment, be like, oh, I wanted to come give you a hug, a hug. Like, but now just kidding, I'm going to make you wait and God knows what. And I'm kind of worried if I go over there, then she'll make me come in the apartment. Probably, you know, under the guise of like, oh, come get your stuff. But then, you know, she'll make it like look all nice and make it very clear that like I'm sure whoever she's dating lives there with her. And like, I just, I don't really want to see that. So anyway, um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to handle it. I went back to feeling a little bit shitty again today and it's really annoying me because yesterday I was like really proud of myself and I thought that went really well and now, yeah, a little bit back to it. So I might just decide that I need to never ever see her again and move out of the state. Um, so that's that. I don't know. If you have any suggestions for me, you can certainly let me know. Um, I hope everybody's doing well and I'll talk to you soon.